I miss you terribly. I hate to see you go, Bab. We've had a lot of fun together. I'll say we have. Careful the way you pack Big Brother's pictures. No wonder you're always talking about him. I could do a little raving about him myself. Gee, could he make me have a fever? I'd just love to be arrested by the Border Patrol. Some brother. No, oh, he's been a real brother to me. You know, I haven't seen him for a whole year. Oh, I can hardly wait to get home. Come here. Hello, Miss Nettington. Miss Barbara, the institution is proud of your record. And now as you go out to face the dangerous world, I want you to take my latest book as a guide and warning. That's awfully nice of you, Miss Nettington. Thank you. Maidenly Virtues and Their Just Reward by Agatha Gardenia Smithington. Are they for sis? That's a good boy. <laughs> well, they certainly are pretty, Reddy. Now, what'll I do with them? Put them in here. All right. <laughs> Say. You think of everything, don't you? Don't know what I'd do around here without you, you old rascal. That's a good boy. Now, take it back and put it where you got it. What's the matter? Don't you like it? I thought I did a pretty good job around here. Something missing? <laughs> I know what I forgot. How's that? Oh, you like her too, huh? Well, I don't blame you. <coughs> Say, we better get going, Reddy. I want to get a box of candy before that bus comes in. <coughs> Hello, Bob. What do you say, Ed? Headquarters just got a line on Zorro and a smuggling mob. Yeah? Yeah, they've been seen over at Carter's Flats. I came over to get you. What a break. My sister's coming in today. Tough luck, kid. Trooper Robert Franklin, Section 72, Article Number 19, Subject Emergency Call. All officers and men... Oh, will... shut up. Well, you would get yourself a uniform. Listen, Ed, I'm going down to the bus station. Person, follow me down, will you? I'll leave the car there for the kid. Okay, Bob. <laughs> Hello?
Hello, Miller. Well, howdy, Bob. Fine. Say, my sister's coming in on the bus today. I won't be able to meet her. Official business. Uh oh. Now, you take good care of her, Renty. Say, you put a lot of trust in that dog, don't you? I ought to. He's more than a dog to me. We've been in some tough scrapes together, and he's never failed me yet. Say, would you mind telling Barbara not to wait, take my car, and go on home? Well, so long. Well, goodbye, Bob. The border patrol, she's making this place too hot. But Zorro, how am I going to find the new place? With these maps, you cannot miss. Look, Matt, you take the first road south, then you double back. When you come to the new hideout, give the word, Skull and Crown. Savage, no? Skull and Crown. See, si, Savage.
enough contraband in this truck to send that gang up for 20 years. I certainly hope the boys got Zorro. So do I. You take him in, Ed. I'll take this truck to headquarters. Be careful of them. Remember, <laughs> what's left of them belongs to the law. Right, Bob. Hello, Daddy oh, well, Miller. <laughs> Miss Barber. Ma, Say you're Barbara. looking younger every day. Say, if I was 20 years younger. Ah, Dad, you're talking like an old roué. <laughs> now listen, don't pull any of those Spanish names on me. Say, your brother said that you drive the car home. Well, Rimsy, you haven't forgotten me, have you? Where's Bob? Uh-uh, what's this, a mash note? Really, I've got a present for you. Here, now close your eyes. Look at that. How do you like that, huh? Here, you want the dog? Senorita. Well, how do you do? Do you want to see my brother? Oh, your brother? Si. He is here? No, he isn't. Oh, that is too bad. My horse is going lame. I must get to my rancho. I think maybe I can use your brother's car. He'll be back soon if you don't mind waiting for him. You are very kind, senorita. Be quiet, Rinty. Lie down. Your dog, uh, Rinty, is not very polite, huh? <laughs> when you see my brother's training to protect me. Oh. Brother must be very proud. No? I'll say he is. He just lives for the service. That must be Bob now. Wait. All day troopers have chased me. Me. Zorro. 
But this time, Zorro will get even. What, what do you mean? Get over there. Santo. <laughs> I heard a shot. Barbara's laying on the floor. She said, Zorro. 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 Where's Ren? Oh, I don't know. I didn't see him. Hey, Randy! Hey, Randy! Hey, Bob. Here's a telegram from this Barbara. I better get some help, huh? Hey, Bob. There isn't a man in the service who isn't sorry to see you leave. How did the chief take it? Well, he didn't exactly approve. But you know how it is, Ed. She was my sister. And I quit the service so I could get Zorro in my own way. Sure. I understand. But I want to tell you one thing, Bob. If any time that you need me, remember, I'm yours to command, old boy.
I'm not going to take you back. Get out of here. Did you hear what I said? Get out of here! Say, I'm worried about Matt. Suppose he talks. Oh, don't worry about him. He ain't the squealing kind. Yeah, but what a break. The best truckload of stuff we had yet, and we had to lose it. Just the same, I'd like to know where those troopers got their information. Hey, just take it easy, King. I'd like to bet you two to one that none of our boys squawked. Nothing doing. The tavern's closed. Good gracious! Why, doggone, we've been telling up here for the last ten years to hunt. The place is in litigation. I told you the tavern was closed. I fear we'd better produce some different hunting grounds, Mr. Meadows. All right, ho! Tally ho! Tally ho! Hey, right, get that thing out of here. Oh. Oh. Say, King, just got across the border. What's the word? Stolen crown. Now you don't have to be so loud about it. Okay. Well, well, if it isn't our jolly host. You know, I was just going to send for you. The service here is getting terrible. King, this thing's gone far enough. It's an outrage. <laughs> <laughs> Moving in on us and keeping us prisoners in our own home. Forcing my daughter to cook for you like she's a common servant. Now you and your men get out of here. Listen, old timer. We're gonna stay here and you're gonna like it. You're a very brave man, aren't you? Say, if you could be just a little more friendly, we could be like a big happy family here. Ah, Matt sent me to see King. Who's King? I never heard of him. No? Well, maybe Skull and Crown will help you to remember. Well, why did you say that in the first place? All right, come on. Keep your eye on the radio. I don't want to miss the news. 
I'll watch for it. Okay. King, there's a guy out there who said Matt sent him. Matt? Yeah. Bring him in. Who's he say? No, he said that Matt sent him. That's King over there. How are you? How are you? Matt Brent sent me to see you. When did you see him last? Why, a couple of days ago. He was leaving with a truck and he told me to meet him here. Yeah? Well, I guess you won't meet him now because the Border Patrol has got him. What's that? Gee, that's tough. He was the best pal I ever had. For many a hot job we pulled together. Why, the last thing he said to me was I could probably join up with you. What's your moniker? Rocky Morgan. Rocky Morgan? Yeah. Sit down. Hey, want a drink? Now for the local news of the day. The Border Patrol is still searching the country for the outlaw Zorro. It has been reported the killer of Barbara Franklin has escaped across the border. In the north, the political situation is changing. Now there's a guy I'd like to meet up with. Who? Your boss, Zorro. Well, maybe you will. What do you say? Am I in? I'll talk to the boss and let you know. Okay. In the meantime, dude, take him up that spare cabin. The walk will do you good. All right, come on. Hey, I've got a hunch about this fella. I'm not so sure of him. Just what I was thinking. I better keep my eye on him. Go ahead. Hello? How are you? There's no use, Father. They're all over the place. Thanks, pal. <laughs> I said you can't come in. Oh, come on, come on. Be a good girl. <laughs> I just want to come in and say hello to you, that's all. Why ain't you and I not better friends, huh? Now, oh, come on. I ain't going to hurt you. Come on.
man. What's going on here? He was molesting that girl. Is that so? Come here, dude. You know the rule around here. Okay, Rocky. The boss is taking a personal interest in her. Oh, yeah? Come up to Lard and have a little drink. There's something I want to talk to you about. Okay. Say, I, uh, I cut my hand on his teeth. I better get down and put something on it. All right. I'll be with you in a minute. Thank you. just came over to have a little talk. All right, go ahead. Talk. You're pretty good, Rocky Morgan. You almost fooled me. Mr. Bob Franklin of the Border Patrol. Get him up. Maybe I better introduce myself. I'm Saunders of the Customs Department. Is that so? Well, if you let me get my hands down, I'll prove it to you. All right, go ahead. you know who I was? I remember you when you were on that Milligan smuggling case. Looks like we're both after Zorro. You see, I've been undercover with this gang for some time. I've only seen Zorro once. He hardly ever shows himself, not even to his own men. All I want is to meet up with that guy. I know. I heard about your sister over the radio. Perhaps we can arrange some way that you can see Zorro first. Say, how about the old man and that girl? Are they in with the gang? No, they own this place. The gang just moved in on them. Oh, I get it. I better be moving along before they spot me. Yeah, okay. Breaking in on you like this, but I have to be careful. Well, I'm, I'm glad you're here, so I can thank you for helping us. Well, that's all right. We may be able to help each other. Have you ever seen a man around here called Zorro? Swarthy, wears a big sombrero? Yes. I saw him here once. He rode his horse into the barn, but I haven't seen him since. Well, won't you have some tea? Oh, thanks. I'd, I'd like to, but I'd better go before they start looking for me. Now, keep your chins up. We will, as long as you're here. What's the idea of keeping me waiting like this? Sorry, King. It took a little longer to clean up my hand than I thought it would. Well, what's on your mind? He looks like he saw a ghost. Maybe he did. Hey, there's a police dog loose in the grounds. You boys catch him and bring him to me. Hurry up, Pierce.
Let's see, View King. Is there something wrong? No. Everything's perfect. Can you sing? Do I look like a minstrel? Hmm, not exactly. Just happens as an old song keeps running through my noodle. It goes something like this. Old dog cries ever faithful. Stick around, Rocky. Okay. Come on, Jennings, I want to talk to you. Got the dog in the other room. Good. Get the boys together in the yard. I want to talk to them. And hold the dog till I call him. Okay, Chief. Jennings, get yourself a rifle. And pop the guy the dog runs to. Don't miss. I never missed in my life. Come on, fellas. Outside. I want to talk to everybody. Boys, I'm staging a little surprise party for you. I know you're going to like it. It's going to be good. There's a dog around here looking for his master, as dogs will. I've been told he belongs to a certain trooper of the Border Patrol. Now, you were the last four to join up. Dude, Rocky, Saunders, Carter. Line up over here. I've got Jennings here to see that the dog gets a fair chance to pick out his master. Bring the dog out. I want you guys to call that dog one at a time. I've been told his name is Rindy. Start in. Here, Rindy. Hey, Rindy, come here. Come here, fella. by his name. Rennie, come here. The party's over for the present. But I gotta hunt that trooper sly. Come on. Put that dog in the barn. <laughs> That mud don't belong to you, does it? What's the idea? They were beating that dog. You seem mighty interested in that dog.
Lock that mud up in the barn. How'd you get out? Oh, I just made a break for it. I thought you'd make the grade. Say, a friend of yours is here. A friend of mine? Yeah, said you sent him. I didn't send anybody. What's his name? Rocky. Said you and he were great pals. Rocky? Say, there's something phony about this. You better look into it, King. Get the boys and bring that Rocky guy here. Matt, hide in there and get a good look at him. Carter. Sit there, keep him covered. Hey, Rocky. King wants his. Hey, what's the idea? Just to make sure our talk would be friendly. I asked the boss about you. What'd you say your name was? Rocky Morgan. Oh, Rocky Morgan, huh? Make yourself comfortable. I'll be right back. All right, sit down. He's no pal of mine, that Bob Franklin trooper. Are you sure? Yeah, he's the guy that jumped the truck. Swell. Listen, go out the barn, tell Slim and Mullins to bring in that police dog they caught and hold him in the other room. Yeah. Wait, and when you come back, wait here in this room until I call you. Okay. I can't get that dog off my mind. Sure he don't belong to you? Of course not. I never saw the dog before in my life. No? Seems to me you were awfully anxious to fight for him. I just don't like to see anybody hurt a dumb animal. Oh. Well, this time it's a dumb animal or you? All right, boys. Get over there. You too. That's a trooper's dog, and I've got a hunch it belongs to you. What's the matter with you? <laughs> All right. I'm gonna fill that mutt full of lead. Of course, if it isn't your dog, you don't mind, do you? No. Good, Rennie. You'll win. I thought I would, Mr. Franklin. All right, take the dog out. Come in, Matt. By the way, Trooper, you wanted to meet Zorro. You'll have that pleasure. He's on his way here now. Dude, you and Mullins lock up the old man and the girl. I don't want anybody prowling around here when Zorro gets in. Jennings, you and Matt, lock him up in the cabin. Come on. All right, the rest of you boys, come on with me.
You heard what King said? He's Zorro's meat. Oh, I'd like to give it to him now, the mug. Oh, let's go. Come here, fellas. Take the truck and pick up that stuff that's hidden and bring it back here. Why didn't you give that trooper the works and finish him? In a few minutes more, Zorro will be here. And you know what he does to troopers. Get going. Okay. Stick around, Danny. What do you want? None of your business. Come on. Get in here. What for? Boss's orders. You two. Come on, boys. Get away from that door. What's the matter with you? Are you kidding us? I'm not fooling, mister. Step over there. Come on. Miss you and father get over here. Come on, get in there. Come on. thought you were pretty smart making that getaway, didn't you? What do you mean? Why, you poor dumbbell? We only used you for a decoy to lead us to the hideout. Come on, Remy! It's all right, boy, come on! That's a good boy. Oh, that's a good boy. That's a good boy. I'm glad to see you. Come on. Come on. Get the ropes off. Take them off. That's a boy. That's a boy. Take them off. Chew it hard. Chew it hard, boy. That's a boy. Pull at it. Ready. Right, get that gun ready. All right, get that gun ready. That's a good boy. You stay there. This guy belongs to me.
friend. Our friend. Wait, Bob. Let him go. What's left of him belongs to the law. Hey, Bob. Come on, Ren. Come here. Come on, Ren. That's a boy. That's a good fellow. Yes, he's a good boy. <laughs> yes, he's a good old Ren. It's funny how faithful a dumb animal can be, isn't it? Yes. And a woman can be just as faithful. And sometimes a man can be an awfully dumb animal. 